I, I will not able to represent the Christian perspective. I'll talk about my understanding of, from my understanding of how Christian will take those. But I'm, so, I'm just happy that I'm, I'm followed the rabbi because most of the, as you know, most of the Christian understanding of what Apollo, I Apollo, or Ted, or sometimes it's still stolen. <laughs> still <laughs> from the Jewish, from the Jewish understanding of water. So uh, I was, when I talk about water, a lot of things will be a repetition because, uh, but I'll talk with, uh, the, we all, we all, no, we already understand that water is a source of life. Water is a basic need for humanity. We all need clean water in order to live. But uh, uh, one of the things that vital to Christianity is our faith on Trinity. And I'll talk about how we, uh, we elaborate or connect water with the God as a Father, who the creator of water. Uh, it's come from the Bible and the Jewish Bible also. And uh, if you go back to the Bible, water was one of the uh, was one of the elements that was not created. It was already there. Uh, if you go back to the first creation story, uh, the water was already there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's uh, and for me, it's it signifies water is a divine element because it's, it's it pre-exists the, the creation. And we uh, identify with uh, Jesus the Son always refer to him as a source of living water, but in a metaphorical understanding, um, through water, uh, eternal water, and and through the Holy Spirit, we use water in one of the most sacred um, rituals, the, the baptism, and when I talk with the baptism, water represents everything, um, life, death, new beginning, re uh, resurrection, and things like that. And for humanity, I will um, also draw from my understanding. I, I, I grew up in an island surrounded by oceans, uh, so water has been part of my life since I grew up. Uh, we, we look at water as something that connected us. Uh, it connected us. Uh, grew up in a very small island. The only connection we have with other islands is through the salty water, the sea, the ocean. And we always refer to ourselves as we are the children of Moana. This is not Christian, and this is Pacific effect. <laughs> <laughs> we are the children of Moana, the children of the deep uh, ocean. So, and we always uh, look at us from very far away. Um, so as an islander, we always look at water as, as something that connected us all. We may be uh, have, uh, like, different cultures, we wear different clothes, we eat, we eat different food, we speak different language, but we all need clean water. So it connects us uh, over there. And one of the things that always um, struck me <laughs> yesterday is when you run on the street and, uh, and you look at your at neighbors and all the fields that uh, you have the sprinkler running during the rain. And I was thinking, <laughs> <laughs> looking at water as a gift of God, and I was thinking a lot of in myself, these quads don't really, <laughs> and so is the, uh, the, the totality of gift of God because of the sprinkler. And I uh, realized that because sprinkler is, is already broken to run, it doesn't matter whether it's rain or dry or sunny, it has to be run on the time. And I'm thinking in our life in these days, this is how we are. We are already broken to do things in according to certain time. And because of that, we, Sometimes don't really, and so in the gift of God, even water, water, because our life is already broken. That's how we are right now, and we, and all these, these programs uh, that have been determined for us to be followed, uh, make us miss a lot of things in this world. Uh, and right now we are <coughs> modify and commercialize and promoting of water really make us um, miss that gift of God, uh, the clean water, which we all need in order to live. I want to say thank you very much. Mm -hmm.